Concerns about the nation's banking system hit home here in Metro Detroit over the past couple of days. One of the big rating services is threatening to downgrade Comerica Bank, where so many Metro Detroiters keep their money. Local 4 Business Editor Rob Maloney is here tonight to help us sort out what all of this means. It was 16 years ago Comerica moved its headquarters to Dallas. But it still has a very wide footprint across the state of Michigan, which is why when you hear about a possible downgrade, it gets everybody's attention. But this is the number that you need to be concerned with, $250,000. That's the FDIC threshold. Below this, you're going to be just fine. Comerica Bank appeared on Moody's Investor Service radar along with other regional banks. Moody's watches public companies, those selling stock, to gauge financial health. To date, it believed Comerica was in average shape. Yet in a statement, it said, quote, the review for downgrade reflects the extremely volatile funding conditions for some U.S. banks exposed to the risk of uninsured deposit outflows. In English, that means that $250,000 insured limit is the issue, possibly leading to troubling consequences. Quote, if it were to face higher than anticipated deposit outflows, the bank could need to sell assets or raise cash to cover possible losses. Longtime Detroit securities analyst David Sowerby says. Now, importantly, I think for the, for the depositor, they will be just fine. They'll be in good shape. Nobody needs to uh, have, a, I think, a concern about the safety of your deposits. Comerica employs nearly 4,500 people across the state with 188 branches. And Sowerby believes that banks like Comerica are now leaning into the wind. This is all the byproduct of high inflation and high interest rates. We, we saw this in, in the banks in the late 1970s and early 1980s, indeed, when banks had to uh, mark their assets down as interest rates went higher. Comerica put out its own statement, quote, we do not feel the recent events are reflective of the overall health of the banking industry. Rest assured, Comerica remains open for business as usual, with our continued priority focused on taking care of our customers, end quote. So in the end, it's the investors, the bondholders, who have to be very careful here. In fact, David Sowerby says it's buyer beware, know what you hold. In downtown Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4.